Welcome to our X-Crane Pro Feature Overview. In this video we will introduce you to the X-Crane Pro graphical user interface and see how different setting changes affect crane behavior. The X-Crane electrical crane control system can be set up with three different licenses. Basic X-Crane, which includes traditional crane control. X-Crane Plus, with added parallel crane functions for traditional crane control and X-Crane Pro, which will be featured in this video. This license gives you all the control modes, and a precise tip control based on sensor data, as well as electric end cushions for all crane movements. Due to utilizing sensor data, the Pro license requires the crane to be fitted with sensors for at least the lift boom, outer boom, and extension. A sensor for the slew is not necessary. Please note, that the example values given for the control parameters in this demonstration video serve as guideline values only. The crane manufacturer will always have to set the correct parameters for the machines. You should also note that the behavior of the movements performed with the simulator can be slightly different in real-world usage. Let's start by switching to the simulator, and taking a look at the graphical user interface settings for Rex Crane Pro. When selecting the X Crane Pro control mode, the configuration allows for up to three different preset parameter configurations. These presets are defined by the crane manufacturer. In this video we have two options. Forwarder, and Harvester mode. The only difference between these options is the extension behavior. Let's continue with operator selection. Easily switch between operators by selecting the preferred one. Like both the traditional control mode and plus mode, X-Crane Pro also lets you save individual settings for each operator. The quick trim in X-Crane Pro functions in a different way compared to the traditional control mode. In traditional control mode, quick trim affects all crane movement speeds in relation to the speed balance parameter. In X-Crane Pro, however, the rotator and grapple behave like in traditional control mode, but the speed for the lift boom, outer boom and extension is directly affected by the quick trim value. Let's now take a look at movement speeds and settings. Tap the button in the lower right corner to access X Crane Pro settings. Here you can access the movement speeds, which determine the behavior of the currently selected control method. The lock button is used to access advanced settings, and should only be accessed by the manufacturer. A PIN code is needed to access these settings. Let's now take a look at the movement speeds. There are four different parameters for tip control behavior. These are horizontal speed limit, vertical speed limit, extension speed limit, and slew speed limit. The values for these are changed with the arrows to increase or decrease the value. One tap of the arrow button always increases or decreases the value by 0.1 meter per second, to ensure precise adjustments. Let's take a look at how changes to the vertical and horizontal speed limits affect the crane behavior. Let's change the speed limit to a smaller value, and see how the crane behaves on the x-axis. Let's now try with a bigger value to increase the movement speed. Let's switch to the Y axis and operate the crane with a small speed limit value. Let's again increase the value to get a faster movement, and see how the crane behaves. This is what the movement looks like when the crane is operated on the X and Y axis simultaneously.
let's take a look at how the extension is controlled. The extension speed limit value only affects the manual movement of the extension. If the operator wants to accelerate or decelerate the extension manually, it is done by pushing the thumb lever on the left joystick. Let's try this first with a slower speed. Now let's make the movement faster by adjusting the value. The speed limit for slewing has a different logic than the previous movements. The value that determines the speed limit is equal to the ground speed of the tip. This means that the tip will always move at the same speed regardless of how extended the crane is. If the value is set to zero, the speed limit is disabled. Let's demonstrate this with two different speeds and crane positions. Let's first move the crane slowly with the tip close to the crane. Now let's extend the crane all the way out and see what the movement looks like. Let's try this again but with faster speeds. As you can see the crane tip moves at same speed regardless of how extended the crane is. Let's finally take a quick look at the remaining settings. In addition to the adjustable settings we presented earlier, you can access the full array of parameters by tapping the crane settings button. Now you see the settings that are accessible under traditional crane control. Visible values in the crane settings menu are operator based which means that they are always the same regardless of the selected control mode. Following the crane settings we have joystick settings and diagnostics. In the diagnostics menu a unique X crane pro feature is boom position. Thanks to the boom sensor data you can get an accurate picture of the boom position. Here we see the boom position on the screen. And here it is in the simulator. The last menu is System Settings. Similar to the previous menus, all adjustable settings are operator-based and remain the same regardless of control mode. To get a more in-depth understanding of all the X-Crane settings, please watch our X-Crane graphical user interface tutorial. We have now explored all functions and features of X-Crane Pro. The simulation parts were produced in Farming Simulator. More information about X-Crane Pro and our other products can be found on our website. Thank you for watching.